<sighs> I don't have a selfie pole. And here you go. I thought I would do a live stream in the morning as I walk to the railway station. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. As I was trying to work out how I could live stream without shouting. Oh, scared off three of you already. Oh, you will miss out on the surprise. If I had a selfie pole, I could hold it like that. But anyway, that's not what this is about. I was wondering if you lot would like me to stream more regularly and maybe not always do balloon videos. Just so you could be nosy and see what's going on around me in my life and do some Q and A's. Rather a dank, dreary, there we go. If I had my arm right out like that. It's a rather dank, dreary, miserable day. Look at the sky. Not sure why I walk this way. So have we got any chat yet? Let's get a bit of chat going up. Live chat, all chats are visible. Doesn't let me chat though, does it? Nope. I do have, do have some balloons in my pocket. And I've left rather early this morning. I was in the process of editing today's video that I shot on Saturday, I think. I quite like it. I've got some funny bits in it where I've got a proper rubber face like that I like that the, the rubber face look oh I think I've timed this just right walking down the street if you want I can um, just show you where I'm walking if you don't want to look at my face if it's putting you off your breakfast this morning you can see some of where I live how's that Lovely autumn trees. Just stand still a second so you can take that in. How beautiful are those trees? They're silver birch. Oh, I hope you lot can hear me. I haven't got one thumbs up yet to show. Someone start writing a message if you can hear me. So anyway, the leaves are down on the floor, as you can see. Going all brown and squishy. Just a bastard, really miserable person. Like this. That's what it's like around here. What is that noise? Oh, it's a man blowing leaves around in the garden. Shut up, young man! Too noisy! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I have in my pocket as well this red balloon and I'm going to blow to pop this before I finish my stream. So we're streaming to be about 15, 20 minutes long. Oh, a bit more than 15, definitely 20 minutes. Some cars in the UK. 
Is that your car? Is that your car? Is that your car? I don't think so. They're all my cars. This street is mine. I own this street. If I could own it, I'd sell it. <laughs> this is a, a cycle path. How exciting. Oh, some more, some more wildlife. Let's have a look. Lovely orange berries. All the berries have gone on this one. That's... What else have we got? Oh, some different orange berries. Look at the leaves on here. There's so much beauty. <laughs> Who wants to see a letterbox? Something that we used to use many years ago before email came along. There we go. A Royal Mail letterbox. You put letters that you've written, usually by hand or on an old fashioned typewriter in here and I'm pretty well colour matched. Nine o'clock every morning, so we could wait here till nine, but I can tell you that's a lie. They come around a lot different time than nine o'clock. I've seen them here in the evening as well, collecting. Lots of our roads in Sandy are blocked off by bollards to stop people driving their cars and taking shortcuts, which is not very good for the environment around here because some of the roads that you want to get to where we live, you have to drive like um, one or two miles to get to, you know, look, there's another one here that's being blocked off. So this, this road here is blocked off and that's, um, That catches out a lot of the car drivers, um, not car drivers, um, lorry deliveries. The sat nav sends them down here. And then they get here and there's a, a gate blocking the road. Should we use the pedestrian crossing? Oh, the thrills of this. This is a 30 mile an hour speed limit road. And usually the traffic coming down here is so fast that if you don't use the lights, you end up getting knocked over. So quite regularly, the traffic will be coming down here about 40, 50, 60, 70 mile an hour. And quite often they won't even stop at the red lights. Morning. Huh? Santa's on his way. <laughs> yep. Oh, there we go. Oh, this house is quite interesting. This used to be a lovely house here. Let me get that in. There we go. Um, it used to go all the way down to there, but they sold off all the bits of their land and just built more and more houses. And that's what it's like around here. All of this land here used to be um, backs of people's gardens. It's beautiful, but now we're just like cramming in as many houses as we can into the smallest place as possible. Oh dear, where are we going? That's our local health centre. That's where you go to make an appointment if you're feeling poorly down there. 
And depending on the time of the week or time of the year, you could get sing straight away or wait many, many weeks. Well, maybe two weeks. If I hold that like that, or you can't see my face. A proper achy arm. I need to sort this out. Um, I'm not going to walk. Let's not walk through the town centre. It's got a lovely dog, you say. Can you see them? I was like, I think he looked, he looked like a bit like a, a massive bulldog. He just wanted, he kept licking his lips and looking at me. I don't know why. Maybe I thought he thought I was a tasty morsel. Nom, nom, nom. Actually, let's, let's go through the town because you don't want to just see people's houses, do you? People's houses are everywhere. You can Google them. Let's give you a bit of... Um, like a guided tour along the way. Well, here is Sandy. Let's go. Don't get very world view. This place here is the old fire station. We don't have fires in Sandy anymore, so they closed it down. This is where the fire engines used to come in and out of. And they obviously closed it down because we don't have fires. Well, we've got a fire escape. Keep clear. Hmm. If we don't have fires. And here is the, one of our rather lovely local pubs. Looks like it's a mirror to me. Uh, that is the Queen's Head. I'm not much for going into pubs myself. That is quite a nice pub. I think they have a wooden floor in there. A couple of ladies run it. Really nice. Oh, hang on. I can see. Let's go find my son. I can see his bike. I wonder if he's at work today. This is the notorious Chippy. Get the Sandy Chippy gang hanging outside here. Proper scary lot of people. With an age about 10, 11 years old. Oh, and this is the best place to park if you're disabled or not. Most people park there that are not, are not disabled. Let's have a look in here. Is he working? He's in there, look. He's in there. Hello. Give a wave. It's Santa Claus. <laughs> he won't wave to me in there. <laughs> See ya. I didn't know he was at work today. But yeah, he works in Gunn's Bakery established 50 years ago. I was hoping to bump into some people that I knew along the way. Hey, Margarita, how are you? You are the first person to message me in chat. I think everyone else has fell asleep. Can you hear me quite clearly? That's my local convenience store. I don't go in there anymore. Not to, don't find it very friendly. Oh. Starting to get the fresh smell of illegal substances in my nose at the moment. A lot of people smoke a lot of weird stuff around here. Oh, the shop, the, the lady who does the crossings. 
is over the road. Wonder if she'll give us a wave. Let's see whether I can catch her. Oh, just walk past Chunkies. How can you not talk about Chunkies? Chunkies is the best place in Sandy to get all of your food. Because I absolutely love the food in Chunkies. Let's see if I can get across. No. You... I must be invisible. <laughs> Do you want to wave? Do you want to... See that? Where are you, America? No, I mean, I'm actually in the United Kingdom. Um, you can look this place up if you go on Google Maps and type in SG... Oh. I can't even remember my postcode now. Look at Sandy Bedfordshire on Google Maps. S-A-N-D-Y and then Bedfordshire. B-E-D-F-O-R-D-S-H-I-R-E. -E. It's actually quite, it's got some quite beautiful places. Um, I think you could really only appreciate this place if you've passed on. Oh, you're no English. Oh, it's Spanish. Espanol. You speak Espanol? I don't know. I find it amazing, oh, Italian, that you watch me and you I can't speak English. You just must. Itali Italian. I know not Italian. Yeah, mwah. Yeah, let's have a look at that. Doing some work on that church at the moment. What do we have now? We have a Christmas tree festival. I have a tree in the Christmas tree festival with my friends. We made one. Let me see what time it is. Excuse the wobble. Oh dear, unless I run, I'm going to miss my train. So this could be a very long stream, because my train is due at 26 minutes past, and it's 22 now. That's four minutes to get to the railway station, which means I am going to miss my train. So let's have a look, we've got some There you go, there's some lovely murals. These are beautiful. That's nice. And there's another one here. Yeah, I'm not running to catch a train that's in four minutes. I don't need to be at my appointment until half past 10. So I'll catch the 9.56. Oh, who gave me, who gave me a thumbs up? Thank you. Oh, five more, please. And down here, we have our local fire station. It's buried in the houses, just down there. Where is it? There mostly there and Peter the balloon beater lives up that road it's a bus it's a bus so excited to see a bus or well, if my train is late I will be catching it if it's on time I'll be having a lovely cup of tea at the station and then I can carry on live streaming for a bit more, which I'm sure will thrill you lot. Right. Oh, right where you are. 
Um, I will try. I don't. I don't actually know. Oh. It doesn't let me. It doesn't let me. I can't. For some reason. No, it doesn't let me type on my mobile phone. Sorry about that. So I've got people beyond. I've got to make sure I don't catch them in the in the video. I think you just have to learn to speak English. Or. My name is Tango Baldy. I live, this is Sandy, Sandy, S-A-N-D-Y. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna help either. I'll get, I'll ask somebody to write it on a pen for, with a pen for you, okay? The stability ain't too bad on this, is it? Oh, someone un, unthumbed me up. You gave me a thumbs up and then you stole it back. Gotta be Sally. Only Sally does that. Sally's the evil Edna of the world. She's such a lovely lady. Oh, hello. Morning and you walk by me and my sons. Oh, bless. You could have said hi to me. I would have been fine with that. But yeah, I love it. I think when people say hello to me, I think it's more scary when they're like, you know, whispering. Kind of, and you don't know what they're saying because they kind of think, is that him or isn't it? <coughs> Ingle. Ingle. For some reason, I've made you a moderator. Wow, how did that happen? I've took your moderator off. I've had fat fingers, sorry about that. All right, let's see how close we are. To catching this train. Let's have a look at the time. Oh, it's definitely gone. 927. Yeah, I took mod. We are walking to Tesco, so just behind you. Wicked. Oh, comes a bus. Oh, that's not a bus to Stevenage. Now it's a bus to Biggleswade. Hello to the people. I can't see them walking down. They must be walking very slowly now. Is that them back there? There they are. They <laughs> give them away. <laughs> it's not often that I'll be walking along and see people. I've had people come to meet me before. That sounds like my train. That is my train. Well, actually, it's not my train now. I'll be getting the next train. I probably won't be able to live stream on the station because it's, well, I probably I can. It'll just go a bit dark when I go and get my cup of tea because I don't want to annoy the lady in there. Plus, I've got to try and scan this phone to get through the ticket machine. Let's take this off to try the mount. Morning. Oh, I want that train. I'm not going to get it, am I? <laughs> so that is the train I want to get on. And you can watch it go bye-byes now. And there it goes. Oh, it comes a nice fast one for you as well. Well, 
Well, that was an Azuma train, our newest trains that we have. Um, hopefully the next train doesn't get cancelled. So let's put this back in the tripod and I'll go and order myself a cup of tea. It was scary putting it in this. I don't trust it. That's definitely not safe. Let's try that. That's good enough. Get myself a cup of tea. Good morning. Could I have a large tea, please? Can I have that in and milk, please? Yeah. Thank you. That's all, thank you. Thank you. this blue button do? This bridge at Sandy has been maintained so poorly like they could have painted it every year and took care of it but they haven't so it's got in such a bad condition they're going to have to I don't know what they're going to do to it but it's going to be out of use for about 16 weeks so that they can repair it. I mean, look at the rust down there. I mean, it's still strong. I trust walking over it. But yeah, it's in a pretty poor state. I suppose a lot of the salt, salt and steel don't mix very well, do they? Yeah, and they came along and they paint, painted the steps white because the yellow was the wrong colour on the steps so you had yellow steps all the way up and they had to paint them white for some law whatever so let's um show you the top of a train in case there's any of you train buffs watching so there you go I think I'll hold my tea. This bridge is proper bouncy. And it's off. The buzzers are sounding and the doors are closing. And away it goes. A thing of beauty. The carriages on these trains open the whole length, so you can walk the entire length of this without opening any doors. It's a very uncomfortable, dusty, dirty train though. And they're not even more than a few months old. You can see a lot of people when they travel on those sneeze. Now, I would love to blow a balloon up and pop it 
at the railway station. But I don't fancy having British Transport Police coming along giving me a spanking. I mean, there's nobody at the station. But I think we'll just do the chat instead. Morning. Fine, you all right, yeah? Yeah, I'm okay. Good. So let's just walk down to, I usually wait down here at the ticket office, opposite the ticket office. I don't like sitting in here. This used to be absolutely beautiful in here before it got vandalized many years ago. Um, well, actually it's got better than it used to be because they've put this, these windows in now. But before it used to be solid glass all the way along, doors at each end, and heaters. It was an absolutely lovely place to sit. And then it got vandalized, smashed up, and for years we didn't even have any, any windows in the front at all. So it's pretty grim standing here in the, in the winter time. Um, we had toilets over there. This point. Yeah, over there we had toilets, but we don't have toilets. Actually, we do have toilets now at Sandy. We've got, you can ask permission to go into the toilet and they'll unlock it for you, which is really good. And we have a nice fast train coming. Those trains used to be owned and run by Richard Branson. But he got, he lost his contract because of his appalling services, something like that anyway. Now will that stand? That will stand up. No, that's definitely not designed to stand. That's a funny face. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, now I'm here, there'll be a little bit less chatting and I will just remind you to type in chat and ask me a question. Don't pull tea bags out with your fingers, they are hot. Yoik that over into the bushes. That's not littering, the animals will eat the plastic. No, they won't. <laughs> what are we talking about? So we've got the... Got the police or the ticket enforcement people at the station again. It's kind of strange having ticket enforcement officers when most of the time you can't even buy a ticket in Sandy because the machines are broke. What a wonderful life. Press a button on the machine. You don't even get to say hello. Oh, it's another train. If you're a train spotter, this has to be the video for you today. Oh, it's the actual real police. They won't come out to burglaries and stuff and robberies and thefts or anything, but if you steal a train fare, they will send out thousands of police to you. Allegedly. So who's left in the chat then? I've been going on 35 minutes now. I've had a little chat with people. Um, I don't know how to talk as in texting on the phone. Shall I blow a balloon up? I won't, I'll blow it up, but I won't pop it. How's that? I've 
got a red balloon. I'm going to take it out. Actually, I can take this out the case now on here and put it in my bag. I'll show you what I was holding in a sec. Let me just put the case up. There you go. That's what I was holding my camera in. And I was going to use like a microphone that fits in this cold shoe bit, but my son said to me, don't get adapters and things. He goes, just use your headphones. And they've worked fine. It's a bit weird, so I can't hear anything. So let's pop that in the bag. I'm going to do, I've got to tell you what I'm doing, and I? I am going to a photography course because I would like to improve the quality of my videos. I've probably told people before, and one of the ways of doing that is doing a photography course and also saving up for a really nice camera for doing my videos. And I'm doing practicing every day, record um, editing videos each day. There's always a light behind me. I, I can't really find a nice place. Wherever I go, there's a big light. So. Look at that. <laughs> so hot. One viewer left watching. This balloon is for you. The police are going. Should I just let the air out? <laughs> nice. I have. I thought I'd used all of my balloons up. I've still got one of these left. If I have time today, I'm going to buy some more of them. They, they weren't the biggest punch balls ever, but they did. They're the best I've actually seen for a long time, and I did like the colours. So I might, oh, I might get a few more this afternoon. What am I doing this afternoon? So let's, let's get this right. So I've walked to the station and missed my train, which is not a problem because my course doesn't start till half 10. I'm going to do that till, I think it's 12 o'clock or 12.30. And then I'm gonna to go to another meeting for about, only for about half an hour. Have a cup of tea. That's my meeting, so cups of tea. I love cups of tea. And then I'm going to do, oh, actually, no, till 2 p.m. Yeah, 2 p.m. I'm going to SPS training to do the second module of my second exam, no, of my second qualification in IT. So I've got to, I do, having three levels Three IT courses, right? I think level ones and level twos. I have no idea what it is. I'd like to do a level three, but it's, let's do the level two first. The problem is they're training us on Microsoft software, you know, like um, Excel, Outlook, and things like that. But you pay that back. £80 a year to use that software at home and I very rarely would ever use it outside of a workplace and the work that I do and going to be doing doesn't really warrant using that stuff. I can't tell you where I'm going to be working yet but all I can say is I'm really excited going to be entertaining people. Would you believe I can? What is that? This, my friend, is one of the thousands of cameras that watch us every day of the week, wherever we go in the UK.
Uh, apparently, they stop, help to detect and stop crime. But so far, I've not seen a reduction in crime. It just gets moved somewhere else. Hello and welcome to the stream number two viewer. I'm afraid... <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Oh, and hello again. People come and go so quick in the stream. And I'm, I feel like I'm on the television. You know when um, the program's broken or something and they have to do a filler? I feel like I've been filling for 41 minutes. So I should get a qualification in filling, you know, so if something goes wrong on a live broadcast, they can go, and over to Tango Baldy, who will talk for many hours about nothing in particular. It is now 9.46. I have 10 minutes left till my train. That is when I will end the stream. So you have 10 minutes now to ask me any questions you like. Oh, like, is your tea hot, Mr. Baldy? There is rather hot, thank you. Someone asked me to write where I, where I am. Can someone write in the chat the word Sandy Bedfordshire, please? Because for some reason, this app on my mobile phone does not allow me to write any messages to people. I can only speak, which is rather frustrating. I can tap the screen and see, see the chat messages. Like Ruffy619 said they were um, walking to Tesco's just behind you, but I can't see. Maybe it's because the screen's stretched. Nope, there's nothing I can do, really. Oh, don't itch my ear. The last person to talk to me is a 9.27. Could probably get to see a doctor quicker if you got ill at the railway station. So if you're, if you're feeling ill and you need to see a doctor quickly, buy a train ticket. Got a few workmen arriving at the station now. Oh, I love tea. So what's it like where you live then? Do you have happy people? You know, friendly, cheerful, yabba dabba doo people? Or do you have people just walk around with rather glum faces? Like this. Here, look at that man. What is he talking about? Is he? No, not a lot. My train is going to be one minute late and it's raining. There you go. Proper English man chat. Look at this in here. Spiders, you can't see the spiders. But this bit was funny because they came along and they were talking about how it needed to be all cut back because it was overgrown, and that was in March this year. It's now nearly Christmas. Christmas. I believe that the one person left in chat must have fallen asleep. I can't believe anyone would have stayed here for 45 minutes watching me. Do you have a little wander up and down the platform? So anyway, as I had cannot write on the keyboard, I bet that's in mirror writing. It looks like mirror writing on my camera. I'll switch the camera. Try that way. Well, that looks like the right way round to me this time. Uh. 
Let's show you the notice board. That's one of the older trains, they're really comfortable. Must have fixed focus on the camera this morning. There you go, let's try that. I wonder if I can zoom in or anything with the other camera on. <sighs> can you zoom in? No, it's it's definitely not you. Oh, actually. That did zoom in a little bit. Yeah, that definitely zoomed in somewhat. Oh, wrong button. have a slight issue with the water falling out of the sky. Then if you can hear the background noise here. I think over there, yeah, you can see over the tops of some houses. And then we have Tesco. I think they're going to build some more houses down there along the railway line. Why anyone would want to live there? I suppose if you're just going to work and you live in Sandy, it's fine. But I wouldn't want to live along this road next to the train station and that roar of the A1. So when I lived in um, College Road in Sandy, my house was absolutely disgusting and filthy of all black slime and oil from the traffic. So I was in a three-storey house. Um, it's not as bad where I live now, but I'm only, I would say, probably 300 metres away from College Road now. But that does make a difference. The problem with sand is it's like a big bowl. You know, we're like surrounded by quite high hills and things. And all the fumes from the A1, which is over in that direction, just waft over Sandy and give everyone asthma. So it's not a very healthy town to live in. It's quite a deprived place as well. I mean, you, you, you're not really going to do very well working in Sandy, you know, percentage-wise. I mean, there's, there's jobs, 
that it's not a place I would recommend people to come to just to look for work. I think our train is on the way. So I'm going to end the stream when it pulls into the station. I would love somebody to give me another thumbs up. Because I lost that. Somebody gave me a thumbs up and then it got took away. It was really sad. Here we go. Well, near the end of the stream. First class is at the front, but I would like to say there's first class carriages at the rear of the train. A lot of people don't realise this, but you can travel at the rear of the train in first class accommodation. Oh, we've got another fast train come flying through the station. Here comes my train so I will thank you all for watching and I will edit the video that I was doing this morning when I get back home and I say it's a giant yellow inflatable punch ball and I think it is quite a funny video so thank you for watching and I will speak to you again very soon goodbye <laughs> This station is Sandy. This train terminates at Wishington. We will be calling at Nicholswade.